this morning, we just received a new report on the contamination of Coldwater Creek. And within about the last half hour or so, we got, we got a new look at what the government knew about radioactive waste in the St. Louis area. News source Caroline Hecker live in our newsroom explaining why members of a local advocacy group say the findings are, are worse than they thought. Well, Claire, this report you see right here on the Associated Press's website really is the culmination of 15,000 pages of government documents related to this nuclear contamination problem. That group you referenced, Just Moms STL, got their hands on those documents. They then turned them over to the Associated Press and a couple of other organizations who then released this report you're seeing within the last half an hour. Now, the report is quick to point out that it found no evidence of criminal wrongdoing after canvassing hundreds of internal memos, inspection reports, and other documents. But what it did find, it says, is repeated instances where companies, contractors, or the government could have addressed major problems and didn't. All of this, again, stemming from the handling of radioactive waste from the Manhattan Project. From 1942 to 1957, uranium was processed in downtown St. Louis for the nation's nuclear weapons program. Later, the uranium processing was then moved to a site near Weldon Spring in St. Charles County. Now, among other findings, the group says that the documents reveal that the contamination was more widespread than previously thought, and they allege the government officials concealed the extent of the risks to the public. And they know that it's getting in the creek, and you're, you're getting ready to flip a page, and you're like, please, the next page, do the right thing. But you know they didn't, and you know they're not gonna, and the consequence is my best friend. So, it was really hard. Now, Just Moms STL says they felt it was their obligation, their duty to not only uh, submit a freedom of information request to get their hands on these documents, but to read through them themselves and then ultimately give them so that the public would ultimately be able to also see uh, what they consisted of. Cleanup efforts at this point, guys, towards taxpayers, north of $1 billion, and it's anticipated that many millions more will be needed to ultimately get the job done. We're live in the newsroom this morning. Caroline Hecker, News 4. Much anticipated information people are looking to see. Okay, thank you very much, Caroline.